we greet all the brethren in the peace of the Lord Jesus. For us, a great joy to be with the brethren, to be able to see the fruit of the prayers. The youth just stood up here and glorified the Lord because we are on the same kingdom of the Lord. And when we pray for the work abroad and we don't have the dimension of that the Lord has, and now the Lord has given us this privilege to see this work here, what is happening in Valavelle, is happening in England, in Boston, in Hollandale, in Pompano Beach. We glorify the Lord for this. I'd like to invite those who can to stand up. We're going to read together one verse, Psalm 91, Psalm 91, verse 1. Psalm 91, verse 1. Amen. We'll wait for everyone to find the children. Let's read together Psalm 91, verse 1. Everyone together. He who dwells in this secret place of the mighty high shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Only here. Lord, we glorify you because this verse shake our soul, Lord, because we see, Lord, that we, who we are and our eyes are gazing the Lord. And Lord, we ask that your word may be victorious today, Lord, and that your revelation may prevail in our midst. In the name of Jesus, amen. The church may be seated. This was a text that was directed by the Lord towards the churches so that it could be preached today in the church because it speaks about our situation, which is very common to us, common to the brethren every servant of God that goes to moments like this, moments of difficulty, like the one we went through. Sometimes we go through persecution, but the victory is a solution that comes from God. The Bible does not say who wrote this text. The author is unknown, but the text suggests that this man was going through a trial, a difficult moments of persecution. And the whole psalm speaks about it. And it's probably that's what happened with this author. He was going through such a difficult situation and thought about running away. And that's how we are sometimes. Because we are here serving the Lord, glorifying. But the circumstances are out there. A few away from the family. And in court. And being sued. And government, and politics, and the servant of God in this world. and they feel in difficulty and we need a solution and we are unprepared and we feel like running away the natural man think is about running away the problem is that they run away to long places wrong places and man in the situation that servants and non-servants go through sometimes men try to run to wrong place so then they go to work and occupy their mind with work others with trips other with studying and this is even good sometimes people go to other places drinking uh, addictions medications but there are others that go to speak with friends who doesn't want to have a conversation with a friend that's good but that does not resolve your problem because those hiding places they're they're flawed they pass even if you go and read a book, it distracts you, and that's good. But this is a hiding place that passes. And, but we know that our need is in, in none of those things. It is a need of the soul. A few know this, and others don't, but we all have. We have a need of what is eternal, because inside of us there is a mystery. Inside of you, it may be the first time that you are here, or watching for the watching for the first time when inside of you there's a 
an eternal spark. God has blown to your soul. The Bible says the following. The souls of the parents and the children, they are, our, are mine, thus says the Lord. So a person that had never heard of the Lord, they have a secret, it's eternal. And sometimes we feel like the, we have this eternal thing, that we, instead of fulfilling with the spiritual things, we fulfill with a friend or work. But in four months and two months, you may fulfill it, but the, the emptiness may grow even larger with time. I was, I'm going to speak about a spiritual revelation that happened before the service, and the Lord has shown that there is a youth and this sister, she has occupied her time a lot with seeking her academic and professional life, and that's good, it's a hiding place, but it is fleeting. And the Lord is saying, my youth, do not do this. Take care, firstly, of the kingdom of heaven. And I have already added a lot to you, and this service is going to be a, di a dividing waters for this youth. Because the Lord, knowing that we are like this, He spoke of this youth, but we are all like this. We are limited. We are weak. Or is there someone that is very strong? The book in Genesis says, the following, God made man out of a very precious metal. No, He made man out of the dust of the earth. You know why? Because you are weak and so are we. And when difficulty comes, maybe stronger than we are. Maybe you're going to seek a refuge somewhere else, but no, God, knowing this limitation, prov provided an escape that is permanent. He provided a hiding place that is eternal. And the name of this hiding place is the hiding place of the uh, high God, most high God. And this hiding place is sufficient because in God we can hide. That's the message. You have a, a hiding place for your soul. We're speaking about uh, we're saying this not because we knew this. Sometimes uh, somebody come here and see this man wearing a suit and think, oh, how many people that were born and they're blessed and they're doctors. They, they went to college, they got prepared. No, who's going to play instrument and uh, sing here? They are like me, like you. We all ran away from our hiding, from our problems, the anguish, the tomorrow, but we find in Him a peace, an eternal refuge. That's what the psalm says. The Lord is our help and our refuge, very present in the moment of anguish. And we, who have accepted this hiding place, you may you can accept it today. You are new creation. You are in Christ. You are new creation. You are hiding in the Lord. So whoever accepts this hiding place, they are hiding in the Lord. You are accepting today. You accepted yesterday. But today, there is new anguish out there. But you can accept today this hiding place. And you are going to flee, leave this place with peace. And I think that this hiding place Sometimes the doors of the world, they, they close to us. How many doors do we knock? And we're knocking the door of the government door. And, and, and sometimes the door is closed. We all go through this. This door, the, this eternal hiding place, it will never close to you. Today, the Bible says, I knock. The Bible says, I knock at your door. He's knocking at the door of your heart. And I'm at the door and I knock. He didn't go to a door one day and then go went away. He rejected. You rejected your entire youth. No. If, if you close your heart, God might say, oh, no, I'm going to leave him away. But that's not true. The Lord is keep knocking at your door of your heart. If you open today, he is going to enter and he's going to supper with you. It's going to be a, a spiritual banquet. Whoever experienced this, I glorify here. You know why? Because whoever already experienced this, one day our life was sad, but Jesus entered and it became a banquet, a feast for us. So the moment you want it, your life, your soul, may become a, a celebration. You know why? Because whatever Jesus enters, even sadness, jump of joy, 
so today in the shift and tomorrow you take a bus to go to work it doesn't matter this hiding place will always be ready f for you it's a eternal permanent refuge that's what the lord has for us it's not any kind of refuge the bible doesn't say like it's not any refuge is the hiding place of the uh, most high it speaks of the uh, God who's almighty he's within the galaxies he's the greater the, than the universe he's greater than the turnus and the rain that happened this afternoon he's greater than everything and it's even greater than the problem that you're having you know that grand wish do you remember do you remember what you're going through for five years dragging around all the other situation at home he's greater than this you know why because he's not just kind of any kind of a hiding place he's <coughs> the sacred place of the one that can, can do all things there's another spiritual revelation that the lord is is changing the life of uh, another daughter she was going through problems at home but an angel came here with a, a letter to her and it's going to it, this letter is going to have a blessing for her house and this gift that you have received in this hiding place of the Lord is going to be a dividing waters in your life regarding your husband my sister my you're going to glorify the Lord even more because hiding on this secret place you don't lack anything sometimes you it feels like oh hiding place sometimes somebody's going to hide it's because they are running away they're going to be persecuted and that's why they go to a hiding place but in theory this place should should be like in theory should have been a precarious place a place that you just stay for a short while I'm going to spend a day or two days or a few hours there's not enough stuff in there but no, but this secret place, be, be, beyond, besides being eternal, has everything that you need. Every, every, what you need today is peace. This hiding place has peace. Oh, no, it's love. Oh, this hiding place has love. They fill your heart with love and overflow. Salvation. Oh, this, salva they, this hiding place has salvation for you and for your husband. Because this hiding place doesn't lack anything. It's the hiding place of the Most High. But look, this is a hiding place. It is a secret place. If the hiding place is exposed to every, to everyone, nobody's going to hide in it. It's not a religion. It is a mystery. Jesus is a mystery. The name of this escape the Lord has provided for man, for the church, for this time, is Jesus Christ, who is alive. Jesus is revealed. It is a mystery. You may not know if the Father does not reveal if you want to open the heart the door of your heart for the one who's knocking if you want to have this experience you can plead today lord this day i've walked through a religion i heard of a god that heals my mother spoke about it but i never had this experience but i want to have jesus revealed in my life and you leave this place with a blessing knowing this hiding place because look the text of red says so he meaning anyone it's not somebody a member from the Maranatha church no anyone if you are thirsty or running away tired of running away it's for you because Lord God loved the world the whole world but it is for the one who came to the service one day took the blessing ran went away the door opened and never returned it can be because God blesses God does not negotiate with you the blessing if you need a blessing, you don't ever want to go back and the Lord sees the sincerity of heart, he's, he might bless you because God takes place for the one uh, in blessing the ones he or in need. But this ministry is not for the ones that behave this way. Uh, the blessing of the Lord is for the ones who remain. They are permanent. If I inhabit, I am, uh, if I inhabit this hiding place, I wake up in him i work with him everything that i do is for him you know why because i'm close to him and the blessing is for the ones who inhabit and the lord wants to inhabit with us so if we can summarize this message today 
the Bible says that when he enters, he transforms, and not only transforms, but God, but we, we can experience this. Look, my brethren, maybe the church is full, glory to God. I don't know if you're here for the first time. There is um, uh, a narrative out there that says that it is heavy to be a son of God. How beautiful to see a youth glorifying the Lord, others being used, children praying in the Spirit. This is wonderful. But maybe some of that walks in front and do not know this hiding place, this mystery, may say, oh, you're wasting your life. You're serving the Lord is heavy. You're deprived of doing anything. You know, isn't it true? There are people that do not know this ministry, may say this, but I want to tell you, my beloved visitor, serving the Lord, knowing this hiding place, was the most wonderful thing that happened to us. And that's why we are here glorifying. You know why? Because we are tired of so. So this promise was fulfilled in us. The one who knows this hiding place, rests on the shadow of the Almighty. If you're knowing Him today, He visited you in, uh, in the praises. It's not only because it's a beautiful song, a, a beautiful rhythm. No, it's the Holy Spirit is speaking with you because you have an honor. Because you're, got, you're tired because you didn't know that. Because you fought and resisted. But today the Lord has rest for you. Have you felt this? That you, if you want, if you want, this promise will be fulfilled in your life today. You may have entered here tired. I got tired of fighting for this. Many times the Lord spoke through my family. I heard that Jesus wanted to give me a blessing. I resisted. This tires us. This is very tiring. Trying to look hiding, uh, hiding place for us. Well, maybe very tired, but there is rest for your soul. There is rest for your present time, but even more. As I'm using the child prayed here, there is an eternal resting place for you. Because my brethren, this whole is passing. Like Pastor Jiduchi said, it is crumbling before us. The institutions, they have no agreement. What was should be firm has no coherence or reference. And this world is going from bad to worse. The word says, but the ones who trust in the Lord and they were tired and have been found, but that found this hiding place, they will have eternal rest. And all of, out of the blessing that we can have here, the door may be open today or may not be open. But what you were praying for five years, if it happens when you get home, it's a blessing. But all of all the blessings that you may have, don't leave this place without without that you may not have been invited for this eternal rest. The church needs to rest eternally. And there's a psalm that says, when there's a prophecy, the prophecy of this psalm, and there's a psalm closing the pro that says, my soul waits for the Lord more than the guards waiting, wait for the break of the morning. So imagine the illustration of that guard is the church. They are working the entire night the church is here in this prophetic day of oh God. In this darkness there are, are out there in the world. People don't understand anything. They are all sleeping and the church is awake. Position saying, He is coming. There's a war in the Middle East but nobody is rejoicing with this. But our heart is pulsating saying, He is coming because we know we are like that guard. We are awake the whole night working. But imagine when it comes the end of our shift, the guard is tired. He wants to go home. We want to leave. And the church is like this. We are tired of this world. We want to experience what the child experienced here. We want to go home. Our cry is, come Lord, come to take us. Because we are sure of this house in heaven. If you still don't have this assurance, we have three minutes. A song is going to be sang. That song. Ask the Lord for this experience. Don't leave this door without a doubt, with a doubt. Lord, out of everything that I need, I need to have assurance of my salvation that I'm going to eternity. Now let's hear a song. Onde eu vi Jerusalém 
e o templo do Senhor ouvi cantar crianças e em meio ao seu cantar rompeu a voz dos anjos do céu a proclamar Então o sonho se alterou, não mais o som feliz. Ouvia das osanas, dos coros infantis. O ar em torno se esfriou, do sol faltava luz. E no alto e tosco monte vi o vulto de uma cruz. It won't be se mudou, surgia em resplendor, a divinal cidade, morada do Senhor, a lua não brilhava luz, nem sol nascia lá, mas só fugia a luz de Deus, muito seu brilhar e todos que queriam sim podiam logo entrar na muito feliz Jerusalém que no
Hosanna to the Son of David.
And say amen, Lord, so that this word may be fulfilled in us. We desire a return, Lord. We wanted it to be today, Lord. Go to the heavenly dwellings, to the wedding of the Lamb. May we never leave this place without this assurance. In your name we say the wonderful grace of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the incomparable love of the God the Father and sweet and tender consolation of the Holy Spirit. May be with all the ones who say yes to the Lord now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. The church may be seated. This service has come to the end, but we are here ready to pray for whoever desire. Pastor Sabra is going to give a couple of announcements. Praise the Lord, my friend. During the service, you, you heard the glorification of our brother. And tomorrow is a very special day. Not only for her, for the parents, but for the whole church as pray for this moment. Tomorrow is the day of the birth of Victoria. And it's going to be a victory for the fam family and also a victory for the church. So the bread, the whole church is, is conclaimed to be praying, interceding for around 2 p.m. We're going to be the birth of our sister Victoria. We're going to have also remind the church that this is a very special month because a month that is geared towards the prayer for children, timidities, and adolescents. It's the month of the promotion of the classes. It's also the month where we're going to have the seminar for our children, intermediates, and adolescents. It's going to take place on the 30 and 31st of March, 30 and 31st of this month. So it's going to be the first week that begins. It's going to be at 6 o'clock in the morning. You get out of your bed and pray to the Lord and pray for this uh, instruction for this month. Second week is the week of consecration. From 0 to 9, you need to fast. Or from 5 to the end of the service. And the third week is going to be praying for at noon. So uh, every day at noon, that week, you're going to be praying for the topics of the church. And the fourth week, is the week of the victory and also the week of the vic of victory the the girl now so it's going to be a seminar for the church of pompano if you my brother and sister you are all invited to participate if you desire a prayer for a life we are here like the brother said at your disposal our service through zoom for the study of the, the questions for sunday school every tuesday at 9 p.m at 8, 8 p.m. <laughs> Every Thursday, we have service in presence here, prayer service at 8. Every Saturday at 6 p.m., uh, women's service. Every Saturday at 7.30, we have a service of glorification of the Lord. And every Saturday at 6 o'clock in the morning, we have our early dawn service uh, here in presence. And every Sunday at sun uh, in the morning, and also at 7.30 p.m., we are here gathered. In the morning, we have Sunday school. And at night, our service of glorification to the Lord. This is our schedule, and it is the desire of the Lord, and also this church, that you may participate in all of them. Amen. So wish the whole church the peace of the Lord Jesus.